Yeah, 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 people. Welcome to another episode of Creative Always Be. This episode is called Creative Always Be Manipulating Photos. Peter Thomas came into prominence from his photos where he uses his advanced skills in photo manipulation to put himself beside famous international celebrities. It is so good that you wouldn't believe he wasn't actually there. He's now known more for as a content crea creative who does videos, photos, and more. We'll be talking to him mainly about photo manipulations and why and, and how he uses his techniques, so to speak. All right, let's check out some of the photo manipulations. Some dope, dope, wag dope, 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 dope work. Wag, wag, wag one, Pedro. Where I did better? Or everything? Yeah, you know. There. Why? We can't just we say you're tired. We know you just come out for the 95 and stuff like that. You see me? I say, but I, I want everything there. You know what I mean? We're there in the place and we are trying to make the show up the same way. We kind of look a bit late, but the show has to go on. You Yo, know I say go, I say go in your one con full time content creator in many places. You see me? You have, you have your 9 to 5, and you do the same thing outside of the 9 to 5. See me? So, still have to try to make that, man, don't it? Yeah, man, I know you say, man, because <laughs> as I say, when you are doing thing and you are doing thing, you are doing thing at a certain level, then people definitely. I got to basically use it for, you know, for, you know, enhance them quality of work and stuff like that. So, apartheid. But, I don't really 9 to 5 what they have to talk about. <laughs> what they have to talk about, the, um, oh, firstly, let's speak about how did you get started as a content creator, so to speak, or a photo manipulator as really just a showcase of yo, your photo manipulation skills them the normal. So, let's talk about that. How did you get into that and... How do you get so good that you can put yourself almost in a, any photo and make the colors them match and all of that? So let's let's speak about that. So suppose we tell us to you, a guy makes we go and learn. Well, not learn, but it's some good and learn it. It's just that uh, that school that inspire me. Isn't it? So let's go through Facebook one day. I'm gonna go to Garmix to do graphic design, but the day when I scroll through Facebook. I see somebody on Facebook are hang off for like five fingers. I mean, see yo, them, 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 them five fingers here. This look, this look cool. So I say, but let's go and try it. So me go and try it now. A phone me that use, you see me? And because I use my phone, it never looks so clean. And so you know, say, I have to buy a camera. I end up buy a camera still. And, and I did so. That's the photography part, but each time, each time I try the whole camera thing, is it me? I realize, yo, yo, this needs to be cleaner. And then I learn about the shadows, is it me? The lighting and all them stuff there. Oh, to make it look real, so you can trick the crowd, is it me? So you go. It can't be so simple, bro. It well, can't you have to be love so it. Simple. You it can't love be it. so simple. 
Wala. Yeah, say Cam is the simple. Right now, we know if no people ask you, you do that live thing. Yeah. A simple thing, man. Don't it? Uh, no, 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 no. We wouldn't tell you it's a simple, but as, as I said to you, like, firstly, we have to speak about um, passion for whatever you are trying to do. So, I believe that you must have had a certain level of passion. You, you, you must have had um, even some knowledge about, you know what I mean? Even though some people, you know, have the natural inbred talent, you still have to have some farmer, farmer, you know, knowledge, so to speak, about something as it related to about um, um, production and lighting. Because right now, as, as we speak, um, I tell you, but then you look upon the pictures and we say edit, but then we never have no farm and knowledge like that. I just say, yo, all right, what is sunlight there? Eh? All right, but take it. But just look upon the picture. All right, look at the picture. I say, yo, we need to see how me or oh, I can let it look like this, or or almost like it. You see me? So I never, not even, I never have no knowledge of lighting back then. Like when we just start with no knowledge of lighting. I say, yo, we even do when we used to edit picture, I'm not even put shadows in it. Not that jam bird, nothing like that. Nothing. But I'll say yo, yo. I've learned this. YouTube was my best friend. YouTube was my yeah. best friend. Still my best friend. You see me? All I can say, yo. So, yo when we look, when we look on them. Rough because like we never really have the, 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 the type of light in the want. And often I'm getting demotivated, doesn't make I'm never the type of light in the want. So I like some of our students. So I see some people who do this, we live overseas. I'm gonna say, yo, I don't know. I, I wish I had a studio space, you know? Because I never had a studio space. Never have the type of light in the want. Yo, so I came in the picture just look, look so damn real. Never have a certain type of camera. You see me? Like the camera they used to use. When I cut out the image, it just don't look. Just don't look sharp. You see me? Just don't look sharp and wanted punchy. You see me? When I, when yeah, I cut out know, the so image, them, it's supposed to be very sharp. They, them, them level of photo manipulation you do, you don't necessarily need the image to look sharp, you know, so to speak, because remember, you got to blend it back with images that are online. So because no. this image is online, you don't necessarily need that sharp pixel because you have to basically degrade the image to make it work back with the image demo online, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah, but suppose tell us your high-res image compared to um to normally try to get high-res image and put with my high-res image, you see me? But you have some give and take, you see? But in my in my case now, Cutting out the, my image, that was like the downfall. Because I remember, you know, lighting gives more details to an image. Proper lighting, I should say. Because when I shoot, you know, I don't have proper lighting and it's dark. Yo, cutting out the image, you don't have much details. Because you know, information. So when I cut out certain image, I say, shit. 
just look how we Someone say, I can't bother. So normally, I go outside and take a picture of them in the sun. Until I end up by a speed light and bones, the light on the ceiling. But when my bones light on the ceiling, it's still no, still no work out. I get shadows right there. So, yo. Enough of them pictures, anyway, see? I took me used to work in my photo studio. So, I have the time. They from lunch break because of boom, I just snap a couple of pictures quick and fast. You see me? And then when time comes for edit a picture, I just do a boom and jump on it. I always have to try to look for what trend and all them things there. Enough time people ask me for all my benefit from it, but I never said benefit. I just love to eat. Even on that Instagram yeah, you know, page, you, you, when you're looking at the bio, when you're looking at the bio, I just do this for the fun. You see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, but, one of my that great, is the benefit yo, because. Go on, talk, go on, talk. It, hold on, it's so one of my one of one of the greatest things ever reached me in this when 50 cent you can go up on the page right now when 50 cent post yeah, it Mr. that, 50 was, cent that one. was one of my oh 50 cent post it on the theme page yes if you go from if you go from the page right now the on one G unit? unit yes yeah i'm gonna find it a while ago if you go from the then you go from it you can post oh. it and then delete me out that was one of the that was one of the mind most mind blowing yo you think just that that you see me so the man posted it and said you don't know what's that and that picture was yo that was that was that was that long time that that's how we met Bali you do a good job on a picture there too you do a good job on that like me I look on it and it it, it fit in and everything yeah I just I just and then I'm for me, I'm not, sometimes I'm not think, sometimes I'm not think I do a good job. You see me, I just do a thing. Yeah, but you don't know, you don't know I mean, that, that a creative downfall, whereas we are perfectionists. So we always critical <laughs> about what we are doing, you know what I mean? Well, that's true. And then what I realize is that sometimes trying to be a perfectionist can always work out to be the best. Is it me? Not at all. The time because time we that yeah, try for yeah, try for do one thing and yeah, take forever for do it because you want to be perfect. But sometimes it's not really tonight, about being perfect. It's about doing a good job. Tonight would have a, a, like is the perfect example because I don't know see how I have my camera <laughs> set up already. Zine ready for go up on the live with this. Is it me? So. Or them for fact, them realize yo, that take a while, yeah, man. Say that make no sense. Is it me? I still have my phone. So, we just work with them up right now. We we'll work with them, we can't use right yeah, now. Yeah, but right now the phone is not a bad quality, especially if you have good lighting. Because if you have good yeah, lighting, know, then the know, phone know, come know, off never, really good. No, I never see the phone have bad quality, now, but you don't know, say, oh, oh, what? Yeah, the depth of fear, yo. Uh, yeah, man, I did yeah. that feeling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cause you know, the man who get that depth of feeling, you know. Outside, but even outside, yeah. Some don't have a backlight already. You yeah, see me? Yeah, yeah. So depth of depth of feeling with that backlight, yeah. Zin, so the depth is not up. Cause it's not just just basically that way that is poisoning. But you're supposed to know the yellow big boy on the birthday. Yeah, me hear talk about working in a photo studio. So, can I give me, can I give me a, a, a broader idea of the whole journey of um 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 Pedro? You know what I mean? The, w- w- how did how did even though you kind of you kind of briefly um give me an idea, but can I go deeper into it? Like you know, all your experience as it related to content creation, working in the photo studio, moving from that to basically start your photo manipulation, moving from that. So give me a breakdown of basically that so we can get a true sense of what make pedro the, the creative that he is and how did he get to this point because you know everybody have a journey for them take to get to the, get to the, the, um, the point well after 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 i left garmix um the photo studio that's where i learned lighting zimmy so I went when when I reached the poster studio, you know, I say yo, to that place, yeah, yes sir. 
I'm going to try to get some sick images. Isn't it? I'm used to take like passport size, passport size pictures and the photo shoots I'm going to do. Babies. So, taking babies, that was like one thing I'm going to say, yo, you have to be patient. Very patient. You have to make up some crazy face. You see me? And the type of lighting we have to use for a baby, because you know, say, yo, them just bought the light can't too bright, else they're going to them iron all the day. You see me? And uh, when my picture used to be on the wall in the photo studio, over the counter, people used to all walk in, yo, you know that you know? Now you're on Instagram, with a bad picture of them, with oh mama, Nicki Minaj and all them things. Them type of, they, they, them vibe, they just feel, yo, they just feel kind of hype coming and say, yeah, man, people, people know of me like that, they seen. So, my dad put this video for like, what, what, two years, two and a half years, is it me? Yeah, about two and a half years. So, after I leave the, so, after I leave the photo, so, you know, I started content creation. So, I worked at a company called, cheer sensation is me so it's a cheerleading company so when i was at that company for about one one year probably one year now i think i did this for about one year a couple of months is me for about a couple of months and then after i leave that company i mean if i really did it long i'm listening to the photos capture the girls they are the guys they are boom big Boom to the news and some some tumbling something like that. Something like that. You see me? So after I leave some, from the some so, assaults are boom flick. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. You see me? After I leave from the so we left from the so and then we go then as we start freelance full time this year. Full time. You see me? Then somebody did give me a link with Sneak Magazine. Best one of the best things that for me, you see me? Magazine. So when the person they give me the link to Sleep Magazine, start know more people, then more people link link me up with other people, you see me, and then then my name start go around some more, you see me. And then I realize yo, after that, the Ashley company calls me. To work for them as a full time content creator. You see me? Then, but they had a company for about, about a year. So about a year? No, a couple months. You know, say, I am on touch on the plane. First place, Milan, Amsterdam. One of the big, yo, that's one of the, yo, that's one of the, I don't even know what to say. I can't believe somebody go up on the plane because they have no people in the, the, the field. No bit trouble. Them don't know what it feel like to go up on a no. plane, you see me? I'm a great yeah, for that. Man, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> you see me? So, for no one say, yo, I'm telling you, I feel, I feel, so, I feel so, so, so proud of myself, for no one say, yo, because a woman do. When I experience certain things, you see me? Because, like, we go to Amsterdam and sit different type of race. And then my eyes Brother, them really open to how, yeah, then my eyes them really open to how they really listen to you? Is that Jaya listening to you and listening to your experience and what, what remember, you have experienced you know, by, do, by doing content creation? Yeah, you remember, you know, I used to ride for a little bike, you know, ride and snap. I'm sure they said, they said to me, see why my was a ride and snap. You see me, I used to ride the bike and I say, you know, them life, yeah. Left and buy it, gonna care all of this because of content creation. Yeah, man, but but you know, content creation work and oh, um, life work. Once you're good at something and people recognize the worth um, of what you're doing, then you will be able to transform um, your lifestyle. You know what I mean? You will be able to transform your whole lifestyle by if you are good at something. And I consider you very good at um, what you do. You know what I mean? Basically, anything where you take on, anything where you love and say, oh, you want to do, 
I consider you as a person, you know what I mean, who put out them best. You, you know, go half ass with the work where you try to do. You try to put out your best. So, and when you put out your best and your best on a certain level, you will get recognized um, for your work. You know what I mean? So let's let's dig look deeper into um you now working for Ashe, you know what I mean? And getting the travel experience and you know what I mean, getting to even develop yourself as a better content creator because now you are one of the main persons upon a lot of them projects in terms of shooting um content and now you are the more uh, le, le, video le, content le, 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 as le, opposed le, to le, photo le, content. Let me let me let me just say this. Is not one of the main person. I'm the only person. Not to be hyper. So no, no, no. Like, that, like we have to speak. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Pedro. We have to speak about like how we see the evolution. Because remember, say, um, Darren kind of started it. And you kind of did a under. But well, I can't know. Like it was a, you know, you basically did dead with Darren and I learned this no, stuff. Yo, from. see that brother day? Yo, that brother day. Yo, Jano. Him? Uh, he, made me know, he made me know the real dynamics of, of um, cinematography. Yeah, yo, so I'm going to say, yo, you, know, you learn from see, Darren see, and see, you can Yeah, man, that me tell you, being not actually, yo, enough things to learn. I'm not denying that. Enough things to learn. You see me? I'm not learn enough things enough to understand different type of people, people of the LGBT community. You see me? So I'm going to understand, say, yo, and everybody stays there, you see me? Some people come, you see? So I have to know, you come realize, say, yo, not for the youth, them. You see, because they have certain experience, with them have certain experience and them, they, they, them knowledge base, you know, so why for understand, say, yo, people, the people, you see me? So I work, if somebody go to Amsterdam, some type of people, you see, I say, yo, you know what I really mean? I'm really the camera thing me, me come out so. We got imagine we got all we got all the way Amsterdam for the interview people, you know, of the LGBT community, Bro. you know. See me? So me I say I really my camera when I come so far. Even the even the the T V series was what we come out of here. Where Darren shoots some and me shoot something, see me? So because Darren did the fan set. It's the first day when we, when we were going to shoot the series, like, we never know no. Umbra, I said we never know no. Imagine you had to tell a taxi man to go tell out a yard. I mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. What am I going to do? What is this? You know, remember, you know, as a taxi man in there, you know, say, oh, yeah, I want to tell that. Yeah, I know, I want camera that. Yeah, I want lens that. But for going to the, 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 the meat of the matter, say, oh, Jano, oh, so me for put, me for put a panty on the lens and all them things there. Oh, so this are the mat box. Okay. Oh, so I need them, them, them filter here. Which stop? I never know them thing there, Jeep. Never know them thing there. When I shoot video, we used to shoot videos, we never, we never had a thing about ND filter and all them things there. See, although Darren I use ND, the, the ND filters like that, that, that the glass one and anything. You know I mean? So to know them thing, I should make me know them type of thing out. Being in a in a sense say, oh, yeah, but they pan a set. You see me? So when I when I think to shoot, I me get up and shoot it, I determine say yo, here what? I the lens I may use, the lens I get me this, yo, the angle I get this, you see me? Leave it, yo. Just really appreciate the company. Yeah, and as I say, yo, like is 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 experience. So you having gone to Amsterdam, get all this experience to travel the world and kind of get a sense of understanding different um energy and different vibes. Like I remember when I was traveling the world in my time, and you know what I mean. I go Amsterdam. I think Amsterdam. I go and also encounter um you know what i mean people have different beliefs and people have different views and i was sharing yep. my views with them and them were sharing freedom views with me and yep. you know what i mean we basically come to an agreement that yeah you are you do your thing and me do my thing you know what i mean when i tell you say you you enough to do your thing because me not really have no control over where next man do them life me can tell a man what me i gonna do with my life so you know and understanding these things as a creative 
it no limit you with who you can work with. You know what I mean? Because you know that me know where me stand and you know where you stand. So it no it no make you feel no way having to work with somebody who, you know what I mean, is um different as it relates to them sexuality, you know what I mean? So I'm kinda glad <laughs> that, you know what I mean, you get that experience and you get to understand. And a man respect your views and and, and, and you respect female views. And you have an understanding. And a man now say, yo, you know what I mean? You need to come over that side there because me over that side there. A man have an understanding say, yo, you over that side there, the earth thing, me the other side there, the mighty and thing, and we respect each other. Speaking of, speaking of that, you know, and that's why, that's why, I'm telling you, that's, that's one of the reasons why enough of them, enough, enough people there in the market, they now go do certain type of, they now go work with certain type of client, like if the client say, yo, 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 I want to shoot, shoot the, the, the commercial for me or shoot this to me. Yo, do this, do that. Oh, no, the client kind of gives me. They now have an idea to say, oh, business is business, man. Business is business. You know you're grown. No man can't try you that. You know you're grown, you know me? And then you have to understand that you're professional towards it. And that's one of the, I'm telling you, that's one of the main reasons why people get, get, get the opportunity to work at a place because professionalism. Yeah, me? that you have come down to. Them, them. The professionalism, do it in a G. That is where it comes down to. You have to be professional in what you do and a man will recognize your, your professional work and a man know a work, your work. A man uh, try to disrespect you or anything and uh, bring certain things to you from you make yourself clear. Say, yo, you want know? I not necessarily in a them type of energy there. Work, I come for work, me I work. You know what I mean? You respect a man, and a man respect you. Because everybody I try to get respect. So if me can explain to you, say you are Yasamide, and you not really show me the level of respect where you are fight for, then me can't have no respect for you. You know what I mean? Now, let's, 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 let's speak now about more the creative aspects of what you are doing. You know what I mean? You are talking about you shooting, you basically understanding how to set up your lights how to set up your your your, yep. your, your camera you know what i mean yeah i mean set up and break down of the camera all the time I realize it, as yeah, it is right now yeah use black magic speak about that speak about the technical aspect of working with certain type of cameras working with the editing aspect of that cameras what type of software you end up i use for do your editing and can i go more into the technical aspect of what you're, you're you have been doing All right, so when we, when we just when we just did start shoot Sony, you know, me they feel like me they feel like they feel like I've got it, Zimmy, because me just different from from the rest. See, so shooting the Sony, everybody say, "Oh, a Sony that I shoot." Yeah. Until the black magic come in, and say, "Yo, what is this? What is the the first time?" Editing a black magic footage collide. It's a channel star. Mm. That's all. Look for Sonia. Well, the, the color depth and the black magic, it just, it just, it just mess up my mind. And then I have to learn. Then me, did, then me hear about Da Vinci. But I'm going to use a program this still. So it's strictly Premiere Pro. So I'm going to try Final Cut, but. Mm. Triple Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro after Epic. It may not really go out of the Adobe, out of the Adobe feel, isn't me? So the Black Magic lifestyle, it, 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 but wicked, isn't me? Some one get one still, but uh, realize your cinema camera is not really just just a camera. But I need other things, isn't me? I need the lens, them, the the rig, and all them type of setup. It's just a whole different ball game. And then when we know about Ari, Alexa, you see me have no people there in the market, where they in the game, you know, they don't know about them type of camera, they want to see it. They want to see it and say, oh, oh, it's a big camera, they don't understand, see, oh, it's a beast, you see me? And then after no, see, oh, just a strictly Apple me have all that edit on, you see? And they mm. have other um, computers out there, but... It when we listen to you and stuff like that and you know you basically use um black magic at work but you use sony at your house and rate it what means that yeah black magic the black magic is basically 
um, for a specific purpose. And as I say, if you if you go buy like a black magic camera, you'd have to buy like whole heap of accessories for just make it work. Yeah, man. While you buy your Sony, and done. you just throw a lens on it and get it for work. So I understand the reason reasoning behind how you look on it and say, yo, yeah, you are. Make it just work with Sony and my yard and then when we go work, we use the black magic because it's just simple to have a Sony in your yard and do what you need to do. Then I feel I get one bag of accessories. No, um, the thing so is, uh, we bring the Sony. We bring, we bring, oh, I walk with the Sony you now, but it's just that. But just because of boom, bam, see it, it ready. It ready. We don't need to like black magic. Oh, God. Yo, all right. The rig. One of them. The money tower. Oh, the, the V mount battery. Okay. V mount memory card. And when I walk with the black magic, I walk with it so. Yeah, very when careful. Them, they walk with it so. <laughs> them call it the, the them call it the pocket for key, but it really and truly can't fit in your pocket, my G. I don't know why them get that name there. Mm, well, that one didn't really the pocket camera anymore. You know what I mean? Them still yeah, I don't know why they call it the pocket for key. Them still keep the name because I saw them that call it the small black magic camera. But this latest one is not a pocket camera anymore. So them still keep the name, but it not consider a pocket camera anymore. But that pocket camera was when it was a look a small thing. If you remember that first Black Magic day, it was a look a tiny small thing, way smaller than the Sony was put up. Yeah, man, it's it was queer. queer and small. So people who usually use that now, and, uh, and, and it not shoot 4K. I think it um, should about 2.7K. Yeah, man, but it did still, it did still, it still was a bad camera in terms of what you can do with it and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So. As I say, yo, me, me, I listen to your journey, brother, and um, as a, as a, as yeah, a fellow then, content then, creative. Go on, go on. Hold on, and then the journey, yeah, you used to tell me, you know, say, yo, you used to tell me this, that you used to tell me this, say, yo, you, you know, really need to buy a bag of stuff, you see me, just buy things where, where, where needed. I'm realizing, yo, like, every day I go see something online where I go on, you see me, but you want different from your need. Yeah. It's in. Not because yo shit, I better have a 85 1.2. We need to get a 85 1.2. That, it, fam, if you don't need it, we are gonna buy it for where we some money for it No yeah, time as as content creator um creators or creatives we always do that. We are always trying to get the latest stuff. And as I say, yo, the latest stuff is not what we need, is what we want, you know what I mean? Our needs, um, sometimes we make our needs outweigh, um, or want outweigh our needs. And, you know, you don't need the latest camera. You need to basically learn how to utilize your camera as best as possible. So often yeah, time, man, I run down, you need the latest, you need the latest, you need this, you need that, you need it. You don't need that. Most of the time, it's for comfort and them things. Like right now, my day here, I may have my monitor, them and stuff like that. And... Me I acquire other equipment in terms of monitor and stuff like that, but I wouldn't say oh, it's need like it one work, monitor the problem. Say again? But it's still like it work, don't see me. Yeah, but one of my monitor they make a problem, so I know I need a, 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 a next monitor. But based on how I want to do my setup, I don't need to do it like that. I want to do it because that will help for declutter my desk. It will, it will eventually help your work. But it's not a guarantee, say, yo, if you don't have this, the work now will get done. If you understand what I mean. So we, we, we have to balance our needs and our wants and even watch how we end up spending because we, we, we're full of beer wants and not using the resources them for get um, the things them or so to speak need as opposed to want. So every new lens will come out, you want it. Me know that. Every time you see a new lens, you want it. You're like yo yeah cause right now right now me see a right now me see a problem that me that would mind of it i'm gonna see the price me say one point what what one thousand four hundred me say oh okay one thousand four hundred for the problem star me say yo the sad thing about it how often how often me gonna use that lens there that is the next thing that is the next thing when you when you get something like for instance, as I say, me I try to build out my setup right now, and me I try to get two four K monitor because I realize that the type of jobs that me I do, me need wallpaper real estate. Me need for be able to can put wallpaper things for my monitors and can see them. 
Now, I have 1 1080p, I have a 4K one, but the 4K one I have right now, I get problems. But mm -hmm. I get two 4K, I'm still going to have them two monitor, yeah. So imagine the amount of real estate that I have have and my machine allows me to put four monitors on it. So now I have, have like a wall of monitors so you can look on different different things. But it's it's sometimes, as I said, it's not the, 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 the need to have all of them things. Yeah. It's want more want this. But I'm going to say, oh, you have to just balance it, bro. You have to balance it. So when you see something where you, where, where you, where you want, you have to know if it's that important to spend the money. Yeah, but not only that, it's just that some, you say it's you know, say sometimes when you look on some some things online, it, it mess up your mind. Can you say, yo, you know, look how the setup look mad, but the same setup there with the person that have you know, your work cannot look better than the, the sick setup where you see. Cause just because, not because you see a man with a oh what uh Sigma art one thirty five one point eight and you have an eighty five one point four. The Sony version, not the G Master. It still can get good footage, good pictures and videos from it, but it all depends. It all goes to the editing and all that stuff. That's why I say sometimes enough of the, the body set of gears to get good outcome. You see me? Yeah, but me and you, like, me and you know that then, the gear is not what makes it a good outcome. Gears but, but, then, but then, but then, but then, I saw things still. But then, I like, but then, I saw music things. Oh, like, yeah, yo, like now, I now that. Yeah man, me have this, me have that, me need to get this, me need to get that. But yeah man, I you know, understand. Nah, like, I understand. Like, certain things, like certain things that you kill up yourself, but no. Cause I know people where them where they're they're not, they're not driving, no, but them out, them out walk, walk up and on with a bag of gear. So I'm like, yo, what is yeah. that for? Bruh. I can't, yeah, can't tell you about that. Me can't tell you about that because I've yeah. been in the content creation business and, and photography a minute. And I do a whole heap of bus ride with a whole heap of gears. Yeah. You know me, I mean? It's see not him, a safe, it's not a safe too. vibes. Yo, enough time. Yo, it's not safe. Enough time. I used to remember one time I was with a taxi and I said, John, one time I going to a taxi with two gunmen. Imagine that. Wow, wow. Late at wow. night. I left, I left half on job, two gunmen at the taxi. I mean, so, I said, oh, you know, you said two gunmen at the taxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that, that, you know what I mean? Or you figure so, out two gunmen. Imagine, say, me then at the back of the taxi, you know, one woman at the front. The youth, them not, none of the youth, them not reach 22, much less. I don't think none of them reach 20. One of them, one of them sit down beside one, one more elder who preach, you see me? And I think I have, I think I have my camera bag with me, you see me? And the past, the brother where they preach and make a bag of nice, and one of them say, yo, one of, one of them, it's, it's, like, it's like the man, it's like because he my preach, he take the pressure off of me, uh, as in a bad vibe off of me, and put for him. So when he come out of the car, because he, the per the gun the gun the gun the gunman is done right beside him but to the door you see me and then when him come out of the car for let them out the the more lamp on him i don't know what happened to him you see him so when we see when we look around and see the, the see him take the gun from out of the bag man said john no so hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on come again come again come again so the the preacher man step out of the car to let them let out the guy, let, let out, out the guy, guy because yeah, because him the preacher man at the door. Yeah. So when when it, when him come out, it, the gunman will up at him. Yeah. And, and the taxi driver, man drive the driver just drive. Yeah, the driver now stop because he don't know what going. <laughs> yo, no, trust bro, me. That's a serious thing. Yo, if it that's a mess, yo. When we hear about some people where we go through some things where yo them the, yo them lose them gears and all them things. Yo. Yeah, are the worst thing that bro. To start over, I want them ever start over, you know? Yeah, man, the worst thing that. No. My mom tell me left. My mom tell me left my camera. Well, I want to point and shoot still. You see me? It's a bridge mm. camera. My first camera I ever buy. I'm leaving now. Still, I'm going back today. Gone. Gone. You know, you know, as I, as I, as I, as I just said, that something just crossed my mind. <clears throat> remember me remember when we usually um see you 
Like more more like I follow you online and, and I observe what you do and stuff like that. I mean usually always <laughs> worry boy in a rough. Me I say yo that you tell him have so much talent and him a ride a bike thing yeah. You know what I mean? I mean no the bike thing is not that car one thousand percent more safe than bike. But you know what I mean when when if anything I'm tape on a bike in it, it's almost over fear. Me I say yo that you tell him forget a car, him need to get a car and you no know, me see have a car, me just feel I look much better than myself to say yo yeah. At least the man inside of one vehicle, and you know what I mean? Him kind of look a bit more protected because the bike thing, I'm usually always a worry. I mean, I say, yo, yo, you move up to the man that's a ride safe, you know what I mean? For you know, go to him. And then I understand, I understand why you did kind of into the bike thing because you can't left him yes and reach like like today for the show. You don't reach, you don't reach fast, before fast. seven. You don't reach fast, because fast. you're not necessarily in the traffic, you know what I mean? Long so, time, the traffic business, when they're used to them traffic business, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing where, as I say, sometimes you have to, you have to understand, say, yo, yo, man, the bike thing, yeah, it can work, but it's not the best, so to speak, or the safest thing if you are, uh, 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 drive up and down, or uh, ride up and down on a bike, so. It's a thing, as I say, yo, as a, as a, as a fellow content creator and a youth, where always I observe the space and I observe the young content creator them and the young creatives them are come up mm-hmm. like me look and I say oh yeah I like the um the work that you are doing you have a whole heap of potential and I like what you are come always I look in at the space and I see who are do them thing and you know what I mean young creatives who I excel at what they are doing you know I do it on a certain level I always I look on them and I say yo if I can give them advice as to yo what I go on and say I can talk to them I can reach out to them on um, even a gram and say, yo, I love the work we are doing, keep it up and stuff like that. I always basically I do that because as creatives, we need that farm or whatever call now. Almost like a motivation from our fellow creatives for kind of, you know what I mean, stick to what we are doing. Kind of as well as like energy. But I realize, say, the market, the market sets the way where, and everybody, Real, you see me? Some people them know it, but them not gonna tell you. So I rate you differently, see, you see me, because me know so you didn't have a long time. My regular you just you just randomly read with me. But I really get enough people like for me, I'm not really too I'm not really too them monks a bag of people because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not alone, so you see me? So I do my thing, I do my thing this week for a while. You see me? It's just that the only more more most of the time when them when you know what me I do, at least post it from the story. So for me, I don't have any issues with expressing myself so people can learn about this zine. But and everybody stay so some people just keep always want to keep things to themselves, you see me? Because they know nobody else. Um it better down them and things like that, but it, it kind of sad. But that is how the market. I just how the market stay. Yeah, but most most of the persons them who operate like that is is um I would say them have almost like an inferiority complex. I go on with them, so them believe say if you know what them know, you are gonna be better than them, and that's not how it work because like photography, like videography, um like um streaming like any one of these um what i call no farmer using your creativity everybody have them different spin you know what i mean not because me sharing knowledge with you means that you're gonna do exactly the same thing as me you know what i mean even when you watch a tutorial sometime online the aim of watching a tutorial on facebook on instagram on youtube or any um platform is not really to copy the tutorial you know is basically to try and understand the techniques that the person use so when you are doing your work you can use similar techniques or enhance the techniques that the person teach you so most time a person go up on the internet they are looking to copy people their intention is to try and copy a next man work when me go online my intention is to try and understand what he's doing and why he go about doing it so so when me I do my work me can use a similar um, approach a similar way of thinking like oh maybe that's the reason why i'm doing it so oh maybe that's the reason why i'm doing it so maybe why i never got away there 
and I saw me approach it. When me I learn Photoshop, when me I learn After Effects, but me download a whole heap of um um something there. Um, plugins. And when me do with them, basically, me dig deep in them. So I open them like templates. I open the template, go in it, go in the pre comp, go in the pre comp, see what, what was the thinking behind this animation to kind of understand it. My aim is not for try and copy a man thing, you know, it's to try and understand how did he get to this result. And that will help me for basically get to almost any result I want to get using a similar technique. So as I say, it's more an inferiority complex where a person would not want to share what they learn with an next person. I am 100% for sharing. As this show say, we are creatives share knowledge. This is all about us sharing basically. So a next man can listen to this show and basically say, oh, you know, so I learned two things from Pedro. Or me learn two things from any other other creatives them when we bring up on the show and the future creatives them we are gonna come on the show. This show is not even a show where me probably are gonna ever have sponsorship for because I don't want a man come on the show and he might express himself a certain way and then because he might express himself a certain way, me I say yo bruv, you know so the sponsor not gonna like that. Yo, express yourself. If a man come on and say, yo, shit and fuck and whatever the case may be in terms yeah. of whatever language you may use. Me want it to be open because I want a man just to express himself how him feels mm-hmm. naturally. And once it once him also basically uh, 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 give out a certain amount of knowledge where a young creative basically can learn from, that will be good. You know what I mean? So I'm going to say this show is about expressions from the creative. You know, for, for kind of learn from each other me me can learn something from you you are an advanced manipulator no you have more photos and videos there's a lot of stuff where you do where me can do so you know what i mean me definitely can learn from you as a as a, as a creative you know what i mean and same way you can learn from me as a creative so it's, it's a joy when i get um creatives from the show and me i try to talk to them and and, and i kind of dissect how they got to their point and them you know walk me through them journey because at the end of the day, all of us as creative, as basically um, 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 creative, have a different journey. journey. It might be similar, but we have different journey. You know what I mean? You say you come up, boom, you're there Garmix, boom. Then you start working on photo studio, boom. You start doing some work with Sleek, boom. You drop a um, ashe, boom. Your passport goes up and light up with Visa, boom. <laughs> Amsterdam, boom. You had a full production now for Asha where you create a show a year long show now you've been shooting for basically create this series or this show that I work on so in a different journey and my journey you probably see it probably showcase my journey online so I'm going to have to speak to it but yeah, man, everybody no. have a different a different journey yeah, you, so see, everybody... you see enough people, you see enough, enough companies in Corona when they want to spread the word yeah you know what I mean everybody have a different a different energy and a different journey so it's a thing where, as, as I say, yo, I like to see when a creative uh, 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 do things, you know what I mean? I put in the work and, um, and I share the knowledge. But w- before we end the show and everything, because we have some time, we have probably like about um, almost 10 minutes left. Um, let's talk about this new journey when we see you uh, embark on with TikTok. Like, we see you uh, the crazy yeah. stuff about TikTok. So, what's I'm never going to say watching company. Yeah, man, I don't mean, have TikTok, you know, but I see the TikTok stuff that we had up on Instagram. You know what I mean? So, talk about this TikTok journey and, you know, this next avenue where you kind of explore your creativity. You know? Talk or talk about that. Well, okay, so for me, I use TikTok to, to, to look at, say, yo, look at this. People use them phone, like, they might use them phone. Yeah, people they probably use them camera, but people use them phone to create stuff. And when you when you look upon it and say, oh, I them phone them I use and it looks so and it just yo. So when 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 I realize that yo, I can share things on TikTok and I'm I can use other people's audio from TikTok or even create my own. When I get oh ban, yo. And them thing, them. I can express, I can express myself more on TikTok, you see me. And then to realize, yo, I can practice acting skills on TikTok when enough people really understand. Say, yo, you see the people who 
create themselves as multi-personalities as a comedic person. That, that's so easy, you know, if you, if you know what I mean, because there's this guy by the name of Long Beach Griffey. Film videos, I use his videos the most because he's real, isn't he? No, no, for, no, for the things that I'm telling, it, it, it makes sense for me, is it? So when I see him talk to himself, boom, in my summer ride or so, in my A, B, C, I say, yo, oh, I'm good at this. I'm, I'm still puzzled to say, oh, him say a conversation or so, and him say a follow up conversation or so, then he go back to that, then he cut, and I'm like, what is creativity? Creativity, and then each person of a different personality, and I am the same one, and him not use nobody else. So when we, when, when, when we jump on, on the TikTok tree, you know, I say, yo, things over here someone can learn. You see me? It might be a, it might be a up for, for like fun and everything, but yo, things over this way can learn because you have creators over there way. Yo, some videos I'm see them post. Some After Effects videos, I'm them post and I said, that you tell bad. Transition over this up. I told enough of them you didn't understand, say. Enough of them cinematographers are video person. I understand, say, oh. Not because you not understand it means you can't benefit from it. Is it me? Yeah, like. No people, no people not understand, say. I apply that. It just show me. It just show me. Say yo, that cut the body you now. You can't use a cut in our music video. You know. You can't use a cut in our one. You travel blog them. You know. Bro, you mean the man? May I listen to you? And you give me a different appreciation for TikTok. Like, me did see TikTok almost like a waste of time. Like sometimes I see how the TikTok come here and say yo, why why Pedro kill out himself on TikTok so? But now that me I listen to you. And me, I get an understanding of what, how you view TikTok, total different appreciation. And that's the reason why it's good for ask people questions and try and forget them, the, 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 the basically the idea behind what they are doing. Because when me I hear from you, you know, is that, I just say, yo, you, use t- you use TikTok almost like practicing acting. And that is what I see yes. in your TikToks. I'm like, yo, you know, him kind of do that like a role thing and whatever. However, I'm just here to say something. I'm hoping that actually I do it like that. Whereas, yeah, shoot one part and then go up on the next side, you shoot the next part. You're shooting, you basically write the conversation and say, actor A, I got to say X, Y, Z and B. And actor B, I got to say X, Y, Z and B. And you do all the actor A part. And yes. then you do all the actor B part. And then you yes. edit it together. Yes. Because that's, that's, that's how them shoot movies. Them shoot one character and then them shoot the next character and then basically them do the, the cutting together and everything. So it is it, it, it's a it's a platform where me not really too familiar with and I haven't gone over there. No, but because no, me but see you are doing it, the thing, me kinda the thing, the thing, it. The thing with me and the thing that I understand from it, you know, is that a matter of shooting actor A, I gotta say this, actor B, I gotta say this. That thing of the man in my edit to them phone. Yeah, but Right now, that's, the phone them capable of editing. And like, that, with and editing. that, and 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 that, remember, editing is not what you use to edit, you know. Editing is understanding cuts. So you really yes. can't use anything and edit. Once you understand L cut, J cut, once you understand, you know what I mean, um, transitional cuts, once you understand how to cut, once you understand how to use blocking, walk across the screen or switch out to a next thing, once a dark screen, if a next dark screen come together, the two of them will cut seamlessly. So once you understand all of this in terms of cutting, you can't use anything and cut because you can use hard cut throughout the whole thing, but because you use blocking, it just seems seamless because you have certain little things it make it work. You fling up a blue cloth, then the next scene have a blue cloth. You fling up a red cloth, then the next scene have a start with a red cloth. And all of these things are cutting. So once you understand these things as basically a content creator, it can make your work seem seamless. So no matter what you use, if you use a phone, if you use an iPad, whatever you use, but once you understand about editing, it works. 
Well, for me, it's just that when I use my phone still, but I I love the sense of TikTok because I know that yo the acting I remember you know, I just really I really and truly the acting will go over the final to see. Sorry. To see how how best the facial reaction go. Because I've seen some people's videos, I'm like, the facial reaction, they are oh, gee, that no. Based on the person I showed and your, your face not show it. Mm. You see me? So when, when TikTok get up the option of using somebody else's audio in your own way. Because I did a I did a I did a video on it. It went about 13k views. And that's the next thing. The algorithm on TikTok is so different from Instagram by far. Yeah. Ah. Well, you know the new apps them go. Once the new app come out, the algorithm is much easier for you to get traction. When the app reach a certain level, whereas them want you to pay for it, the algorithm start change up. But here we are going, Pedro. We are running out of time. Yeah, you man. Know I mean, we know say we could have talked forever and stuff like that. And my like for do the in um the outro to make people kind of get a sense of how the show end and stuff like that. And we like about two minutes out or before them kick we off of this thing. Yeah. So. Blessings, brother. Blessings for coming and give us strength and everything. And I'm glad to get you on the program for kind of get your vibe, you know what I mean? Your energy, your journey as it relates to being a content creator, as it, as it relates to being an advanced photo manipulator. And we showed that earlier how oh, 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 advanced you are as a photo manipulator. And now you taking it to a next level as a creative. And I really appreciate like all the guests who have been on the show so far. And you know what I mean? Me doing the show consecutively for a couple of weeks now. We can't even remember how many weeks me had to the show now. We've been just doing the show consecutively and trying to, you know, just do the show. Even sometimes when I have a guest, I feel like me, I got to just end up do the show. But the guests, them line up still. So we have a couple of guests for a couple of weeks um, 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 following. So blessings, brother. Much respect yeah, man. to, um, you know, come on for the show and everything. And don't cut yet because I want all a reason with it afterwards. But me, me end the show and then we can't hold a reason um, afterwards, you know what I mean? So, I can run the outro and basically. Yeah, 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 yes. We are here once more. You know what I mean? And we come to the end of the show. A good show with um, Pedro himself, yeah. And we are all our vibes and... The quote this week is, be brave to stand up for what you believe in, even if you stand alone. Roy T. Bennett. Again, be brave to stand up for what you believe in, even if you stand alone. And what it says is that you have to just believe in yourself and be brave about what you believe, you believe in, basically. Just know that, say, yo, you know what I mean? Yo, I'm believing in this, you know, and I'm not going to give up my stance, you know. Regardless of what the situation is, whether I stand alone or I may stand up with a hundred people, this is my belief. And me, I got us all my belief, you know what I mean? So it's apartheid. Be brave to stand up for what you believe in, even if you stand alone. Roy T. Bennett. And that was another episode of Creative Always Be.